Hello and welcome! This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more Prison Architect. And things are moving along. We're getting the prison nice and filled up here. Uh, running out of room, honestly. And there are some a few things that we still need to do, but we're getting there. We've got a lot of things done. Uh, but let's go ahead and continue with time. And right now, the biggest challenge, actually, what I need to do right now, is getting this hooked up. We're getting the CCTV monitors all hooked up. I'm just keeping an eye on seeing if any of them need power. It looks like power isn't the issue. They just need hooked up. Oh, this one needs power. All right, well, uh, we can do that pretty easily. In a second, it's right next to power. There, how about that? Oh, I wonder if they don't work if they're... If they're outdoors. I wonder about that. I didn't really take a look at it. Or maybe wiring works differently if it's outdoors and you actually have to have it directly connected. Because most of the rest of these, I don't think they're directly necessarily connected. I mean, like here, this doesn't have a wire right underneath it. Some of them are right next to wires, though. Yeah, but like here, this one's fine, and the power's way over there. Okay. Once this is hooked up, we can hook up the CCTV to it, and I am going to want to have to deploy a guard in here, so to make sure that we already we always have somebody here. Now, one area I don't have a camera in that I might want to put a camera in is the parole room. Because I don't have any guard presence, so why don't I go ahead and do that? I think that is the right way around for the camera. And utilities should be fine for that. Alright, so this is hooked up. Now it's time to connect all of the cameras that we have so far. So... I only have one monitoring station, so this is going to be... Oops. There we go. This is going to be a lot of... Uh, cameras for one station to take care of, but... Better to have the cameras than to not. I can always set up another monitoring station somewhere else. And I think I have two more, and then we have the one in the parole room once that gets set up. Okay. We'll have a guard working on that soon. But because of the nature of things... Oh, did I not connect some of these? Oh, maybe it's just because... Uh, Hey, what's going on? Let me take a look at that. So, show... Show wires. Yeah, see, there's only so many he can look at at once. So, you know what? Maybe I get another monitor here. Um, go back over to objects, though. And we'll do it. I mean, I could fit one right here. I don't think there would be an issue with it. Being right here. Okay. And we'll split out those between the two. Well, then that means I'm going to have to deploy more guards in here. And I might as well do it now while I'm thinking about it. Okay. I must be getting uh, prisoners released. So let's take a look at that. How many prisoners? We have four prisoners released. Um, so we're intake. What do we have coming in right now? There's probably one. Alright, so we need three, actually. Now, the guard should be cycling through the cameras, but while he's cycling through the cameras, certain cameras aren't being looked at. Oh, body armor's done, so we're losing some money there. All right, so let's take a look at what other programs we can do. Tasers is one. And I think, didn't we have a grant that had something to do with that? 
Oh, that's the max sec. Well, it's okay if we, we get some of the things completed uh, without doing the grant. It looks like uh, we should have done that maybe first. <laughs> Holy crap, that's costing me a lot of money. I guess I have a lot of guards, so... Okay, cut it out. <laughs> All right. Now the question is, do I build another facility for prisoners? And I think that uh, the right answer for that is yes, I do. So I need 100 prisoners. And I'm thinking what I do over here is maybe make a more singular cell cushy area of the prison. But I don't really have much of a planning idea for this. I just have more or less a space. So an idea of how far away I want it from certain objects. So this is more or less... Well, I'm a little too close here. This is more or less the room I have to work in. And there's not a whole lot left of the prison uh, to build things in. So this is pretty much it. Not unless I do another project somewhere like land expansion or something like that uh, to help me out. Wow, these are all expensive. Guess I might as well work on intelligence. Although cash is probably sh uh, in short supply. I don't have the cash to do it right now, but I can at least do the planning for it. So, let's see here. We know how big the cells need to be, so let's draw those out. Now, I would like these to just to be singular cells, but if they have to be, I'll make them something different. Alright, so we're going to have to have maybe a shower room in here somewhere to take advantage of the fact that we have kind of an odd-shaped... Okay. Alright, so maybe I can get rid of some space. I mean, the further I am away from the outer wall, the happier I am. Okay, and then maybe we make the shower room down here. Then we have our central path. All right, so that's only room for six prison, uh, six cells, which would only give me twelve prisoners, which is actually how much we need if we made this a dorm area. And then we have a shower down here. All right, well I guess that works for me. We make shower area down here. Yeah. Okay. I like this. So this will be the plan for now. And we will do that as our area to our entrance. So we need pathways. We're going to come down here. Come down here. Stop there. Okay. Okay. And that's probably going to be the last building that we build. Well, there might be something else built over here. I'm actually trying to think, like, what else do we need? Uh, let's go through the list. We have solitary. We have cells. We have canteen. We have kitchen, shower, yard. Storage I have. Deliveries I have. Garbage, workshop. As a matter of fact, morgue is the only thing we're missing. And that would just be built off the infirmary if I built one at all. We haven't had any prisoners die, so it hasn't really been necessary. And while I'm here, I might as well go to utilities. And what I'm going to do is just... Is there a way to disconnect wires? Yeah, there we go. We'll try and split it in half. So, you watch... This cell block. Did I not get this one? 
There we go. You watch the other cell block. And you might as well watch this. This. Oop, I misclicked. Ah. And this over here. Okay, so we've got the two cell blocks. You go ahead and look at the infirmary. And this camera here. And this camera over here. And then finally the school. And then you are going to watch this camera. This camera. And this camera. Okay. That should be everything. I'll double check here in a second. So, utilities, show wires. Just seeing if there's a camera that isn't hooked up. Looks like they're all good. Again, I'm not going to be able to watch all of the cameras because there's still, even with this setup, a lot of cameras, but at least we'll have most of them being watched at any given time. A lot better than we had before. Okay, so how much time? We've got about three hours. We're not going to get more money. Another tunnel, huh? Oh, that could be anything. And that's a suspected tunnel, not necessarily a real one. Um. Alright, well, when people wake up, I'll do a shakedown. When they're in when they're in meal time or work time, we'll do a shakedown here. Actually, no, that would be a good idea. I need the prisoner uh, intake. Then we do the shakedown, maybe. We'll have to see, but oh, 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 logistics. Four jobs. We're also going to need a program for safety. Um, it's going to cost me money, of course. Programs. Let's stop that. Okay. Uh, workshop safety. Start. Let me do take a look at that, where they put it. So, workshop is here. Workshop safety there. Can we do another workshop safety program here? Okay. Now, I don't know regime-wise if that even works. Let's see. Okay, that would work, I think, for our different security groups. We get a couple different programs going. I would honestly like to get more people working in here than are currently working in here. And maybe we have more presses than saws or, or something. Alternatively, oh yeah, you can't turn the tables, so. I think they work from down below. We'll just have to see. Once it gets to the work program, I'm just going to have to keep an eye on that. What do you mean this isn't valid? Oh, you don't have a toilet. Um, okay, hold on. the toilet over here, and then I need utilities for that, huh? Well, well, we'll do it once we have the toilet there. Across from here. Okay, I think I can figure that out. I don't know if the water will work right that way, but we'll try it. And then, honestly, the last thing I have left for this prison is just getting the metal detectors up, which I just don't have the money for right now. And did we get our intake? Well, oh, it's, it's uh, a few minutes away. Okay. So what's our regime looking like? Alright, again, as soon as the prisoner comes in, I want to make sure they get in the door. 
And I guess we turn the intake off. Well, you know what? I'll keep it going because we might have our prison facility built by the time. I doubt it, though, because we just don't have the money. What is our current grants and how likely are we to finish them? Not anytime soon, probably. Okay, that's fine. What are you up to? Did you just try and escape? Alright, well, if you're going to do naughty things like that, I have a feeling I know what happened here. I don't like doing this, but I'm going to have to. And then once that gets done, I'll deploy an officer in here that always is working the door. I had a, a fear that there would be a uh, prisoner that would try and go this way, but it never really happened, so I kind of just let it go. Okay, now that we have that, put a guard in here so that they're working the door, letting people through. I mean, in theory, they shouldn't be able to get through staff doors, but it's always possible that something like that would happen. You must have had another person uh, get paroled, huh? And I didn't take turn the intake off, right? So, I guess we'll turn it down to one. Because we only have space for one. But you see, if I were to build the foundation, how much money would it cost me? More than I have. But not much more than I have, okay. And take a look at the regime here. So we're in work period right now. I don't see anybody working in the workshop. That's really what I'm trying to keep an eye out for. We got somebody getting paroled, possibly. As a matter of fact, we are losing population here, so we can turn the intake up. Ooh. And I want more medium security. We've got a lot of minimum security. I want to kind of turn that that down. Now, there was the suspected... Oh, 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 yeah, that's right. We want to do a shakedown. Okay, so where are we in the regime? Shower and yard time. Okay, shakedown. Got new prisoners. I want to see if we can find a, the possible tunnel. Now, the flag went away, but... Now, there is a grant that has to do, deal with this stuff, and I don't know if it would just autocomplete if we've already gotten a bunch of narcotics or we have to do it while the grant is active. It's a grant I've done before, but I did that grant in the tutorial, so... Uh-oh, we've got a fight. That's what you get. You get tased. We have a lot uh, less threat to our guards um, with that situation. And... Looks like they're going pretty well. For the size of prison we have, I'm pretty pleased with things. I was checking rooms, though, to see what other rooms that we haven't yet done. No morgue. No library. Oh, you know, that that could be something we could do. We've got the space over here. Forestry. I don't feel like we need to do that. There's not really a forest to speak of anyway. Mail room we don't have. Okay, you know, I see some services that we definitely could have. And then we have a shop. Well, that I don't care about at all. So, library mail room sounds like a good call. So, what I'm going to do is maybe, well, you know what? I say that, but... I don't have the money to do it. But if I had the money to do it, I would. First priority, though, is actually to do this. And object, we need a large jail door. 
right here. And then planning wise, I'll figure out where the doors go later. As a matter of fact, I can just switch that right now. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Yeah, we'll do that. But uh, the cache is now there. And eventually... Oh, we're going to want to turn that intake up again. All medium security. As a matter of fact, I might just turn down minimum security altogether. Lock up. There we go. Now we need utilities. I'm really hoping power will hold out. We don't have all that many more facilities to go. Okay. And then utilities. We're gonna, definitely going to need. But right now I'm not worried about it. But I can at least start routing it. There. And to there. And to... There. Okay. Now for the rest of the walls... I guess I might as well have time. Kick while I do this. Oh, I did want to check. Uh, looks like I'm not really seeing people working. I just want to get this part of the prison done so we can get cell block C done. Get our 100 prisoners. Oh, I don't have enough funds for that. And move on and get another grant so we can do... I mean, because this grant... With the guards, that's pretty much done. There's nothing else to do there. Oh, I'm out of money? What the heck happened? Oh, let's, uh... Burn intake up. Something cost us a, a grand, and now we're in the hole. Alright, well... We do have some income, although it's starting to dwindle. Ah, oh, here they are. So they do work on this side. So if I move these around, I can I can deal with that. Granted, I don't have any money to do that. But I might be able to get more presses and stuff in there. But now it's kind of a waiting game. Is it the programs that are hurting me like that? Because shouldn't that be factored into here? I could turn down how many programs I have going. Let's see. Programs. Um, Schedule. I think I'm going to limit how many alcoholics groups I have. Get rid of one. And... Kitchen safety, I'm going to turn down as well because I don't feel like there's that many people that are interested. And workshop safety, I'm going to get rid of one of those as well. Okay. That should help with some of the cost. Holding cells working just fine. But I, I think the prison overall is doing pretty darn well. Dismantle that light. Put it actually in the cell, maybe. I don't think I have any spare lights to... Oh, yeah, I do. We haven't had any deaths at all this whole playthrough. You should not be here. How did you even get there? Why did anybody even let you in there? 
I have, a, I have a feeling a guard let him in there, but they shouldn't be allowed up here. They should be restricted. You know what? Maybe that is something that I can set up. Um, I think there's a way you can set certain areas up that are only... But it's not something I've actually done, so I don't know... I actually don't know how to do it. Yeah, okay, so... Staff only. This area. Staff only. Staff only. Staff room. Kennel. Armor. The offices. Storage. And this. There we go. And I could make, like, the prisons, like, certain ways. Like, I could say only minimum security here and medium security there. But I'm not really worried about it. There we go. That should take care of that problem. That's not something that was really an issue in the tutorial. Not something that was really gone over. But, I, you know, I kind of realized that oh, that is something that I needed to do. And I'm glad we realized that. Oh, dogs are catching people. What is that? Pee pee? Are people pee peeing all over here? Let's take a look at the needs of the prison, though, while we're waiting. Food's a big need, but, uh... Where are they in the regime? Some of the prisoners should be eating, so... I'm kind of wondering with the food... If cutting down our meals... Really hurt things? Oh, this guy's trying to work, but they're not letting him in. You know what? I might change these doors to just normal doors. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Mantle, mantle, dismantle. Yeah, see, that's a problem. He was trying to work, and he was just sitting there. I'll turn those into normal doors so I don't have to worry about that as much. Now, there should be a guard in here, so I don't know why there was... That person was not being let in, but this is obviously a problem, so we're going to take care of it. And once the doors are dismantled, I'll replace them with uh, normal doors. Once we can afford normal doors, of course. I'm hoping this won't break the room. It might. If it does, I might cancel the dismantle jobs. No, it didn't. They should be fine. This one might be the bigger problem, but I don't see the room being affected yet, so... But this should allow the inmates to get in and out easier. Let's see what our needs are like. So food is still a concern, and again, it's because I cut it down from three meals a day to two meals a day. I would very much like to improve the meal uh, variety in things to improve that meal satisfaction, but... It looks like uh, we're just going to have to deal with that situation, I guess. If it becomes too much of a problem, I might have to reinstitute a third meal. I prefer not to, though, if I can. Let's see what else other needs are happening here. Privacy, big, but I'm never going to be able to fix that. Recreation is kind of a problem, and some of that just might be because I'm not giving them a lot of free time. I'm giving them a lot of work time instead. The game keeps slowing down. Not what I intend, of course. And in seven hours, we'll have our intake, which is what we're waiting for, so we don't have this negative cash flow. But it looks like, for the most part, we've got everything under control. Things are operating as they should. 
And eventually I'm going to get to the point where I'm ready to sell the prison and we can move on to uh, a different uh, session here. I think once we get the 100 prisoners, I'll be pretty happy with that. Better intake looking like, though. We've got... Should be four prisoners. Yep. And how much cash will that give us? 2,000? All right, well, it gives us a, a positive cash flow. And I can start working on the, the cell block, which is something I would have liked to be doing right now, but can't for the meantime. But uh, my priorities right now... Oh, did I not dismantle this guy? There we go. Is switch out the doors. You know, it's actually getting to the point where maybe I can fire some of the uh, workmen I have. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay, we got maybe a fight going on that looks like it was taken care of. We've got nine minutes until we get the uh, prison intake here. Prisoner intake, I should say. How is our one education program doing? All right, we got 2,000. Um, what I'd like to look at under programs, can we do general education yet? Has anybody actually passed our uh, foundation education? So, general, still zero interested. Okay. Well, we got the 2,000, so let's get the walls done here. And I think uh, this is going to be a good point to put a cut in the video. So we've got a little bit of cash so we can start working on the last of that cell block and also get these doors in here. In any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.